Welcome back to Fox News 9 a.m. Time for that segment we call Right, right or wrong. wrong. Love that. And this is an NFL edition. Okay. Uh, at least the first story is, who's right or wrong? Is it the NFL or is it the players? Referees? So if you saw the Dallas game over the weekend, uh, Detroit went for two. Instead of time to go for the tie, they go for the win, and there it is. Yeah. Boom! Tyler Love Decker. Yeah, yeah. Offensive lineman Woo-hoo. gets a two-point conversion. But, uh, oh, wait, wait. They said it was an illegal receiver downfield, illegal touching. They say he did not report as an eligible receiver, although this video seems to appear that he walks over to the referee, but the referee doesn't acknowledge him. He says he reported. They say he didn't. The penalty cost them the two-point conversion. And the game. And the game. That's wrong. And they're up for a playoff spot. Oh, right? yeah. The, both teams were, yeah. really needed this to get the upper edge for home field advantage and uh, playoff position. But, uh, yeah, it looks like he comes, runs over and reports. I don't know why else he'd be going to the referee. So, right or wrong? Who's right? Who's wrong? What was he speaking English when he talked to the ref? Apparently so. Yeah, okay. Brad Allen, the, the referee... Just claims he did not report. Maybe he's got a hearing issue. He's a veteran player. What? I mean, he he knows to report, and he I mean, it looks like he does yeah. to me. I mean, I know that referee's got eighteen thousand things going on in his head right there, but maybe yeah. he was going to go shopping and he was going over the list. I, I well, and here's the interesting thing: the NFL has, since this happened, put out the onus again, saying it is on. The responsibility of the player to make sure the referee knows that he is. You know, they're doubling down that it was the so player's fault. So he should have been like, look at me, I am reporting. Which, <laughs> you know, the player's probably trying to be a little sly about it because they don't want to give it away. You yeah. know that, um, they're not trying to tell everybody on the, the right. Cowboys what's what going about, on. What if the player really forgot? You know, just had a moment of like, ah. He, like you he know. ran over to the guy and just said, right you look great. <laughs> <laughs> Love those shoes. You look great in stripes. Uh, <laughs> nice whistle. Yeah. Well, Brad Allen, the referee, his team is, they're doing another game this weekend. So it's not like they got penalized right. or punished. He's just- they're going to be doing it. Well, that's good. Uh, so I think he probably reported. I, we don't have the mic. I I'm think a, it's all, look, a lifelong it, Dallas fan. I think Detroit should have won that game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's what I think. For you to say that. I'm that's, just saying. Right. That's, okay. that's it. Yeah. All right. So next one. This one's a, a little different. Okay. Uh, so in Pittsburgh, there's a dog named Cecil. Love him. And uh, Cecil uh, ate $4,000 oh. oh. in cash. Oh, no. Yeah, they had the money set is. aside for some projects they were doing in the house. and Is that the afterwards? What, yeah, so they've been managed to, <laughs> they, they've been managed to withdraw uh, um, some of the money. Uh, I think they recovered all but $500 of it. But, oh, uh, that's good. Right or wrong, um, Cecil's a golden doodle. Maybe he should be changed to a golden receiver? <laughs> yeah, I don't or, know. Or... Is there a withdrawal fee on that, right or wrong? What the heck did they have $4,000 for with the dog? Some repairs and things they were doing around the house. I can understand, you you know, you want to set it as a special, you know, jar or whatever. In the jar, in the drawer. Yeah, so right or wrong, you're saying it's it's the owner's fault. I guess I'm I'm putting it on the NFL. I'm putting it on the the owners. Don't leave it. I don't know the dog's story. If you know you've got a chewer, though. He doesn't know what it is. Don't stuff out. Don't leave the birth certificate right. or the passport or the four thousand dollars. And money yeah. smells different ways, you know. And the dog probably thought it was. Well, our producer Tom Gregory asked a big question: Did the dog report to the <laughs> owners that he was going to eat the money, or did he just do it? Yeah. I mean, if he reported, I mean, it's kind of on. I just don't want to be the bank teller who has to deal with that. I, yeah. Do they? I mean, I know. They said they brought the bank told them to get a, get the serial numbers to as many as you can yeah. and tape it if possible. Wow. And then they brought the money and some gloves. I'm looking to at the, the tellers behind us here. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, gloves. It's all fifties and hundreds too. So uh, uh, we know that Cecil has a rich appetite. You know, <laughs> very expensive That's palate. Right. All uh, all Elevated. about the grants out there. <laughs> Come on, yeah, Cecil. You don't know where that money's been. We do now. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's for sure. Keep it right here. We got more coming your way. It's Fox 2 News, 9 a.m. Got an earring back that way.